Hi, my name is Avi Mayan. I'm an associate professor at Mount Sinai. Today I'm going to show you a demo of how to create a canvas image, web-based interactive canvas image from text file that described large-scale networks. The networks that we have that we want to display are two networks that we created, one from the ENCODE uh, dataset and one from the CHIA database. Those are uh, networks that were created by connecting transcription factors to other transcription factors based on cheap seek experiments. So if one transcription factor binds at a promoter to another transcription factor, then there is a link between those two factors. And what we want to do today, we want to try to visualize those networks as a canvas using the Network to Canvas tool. So first we have to download some Python scripts that we're going to run on those text files of describing those networks from ENCODE and CHIA and then we're going to uh, be able to create a website that those Python scripts generate. So first let's download those scripts. So first we have to go to the web and then type in the URL MayanLab dot net slash n2c and then on the right top corner there is a link to help and once you click on that link there is a download link for the network to canvas uh, related scripts so you download those this uh, zipped uh, package you can open it and then you can extract the content of that package into a local directory. So I'm going to extract it to a directory I created called code slash n2c. And since I already did that a few minutes ago, I'm going to override the content. So once I have those scripts ready in that folder, I can close those two windows and I would like to show you first the two text files that describe the network. So let's open them in the text editor. So those are typical text files that you get or that you generate where you are listing all the nodes in the network in this interaction format. This is the node name. And so this is one transcription factor regulating another transcription factor. So you have a, every row in describe an interaction between those two nodes. And in this particular case, we have 2,430 of those types of interactions. And this is the ENCODE network flattened. So what, what we need to do in order for it to work with this uh, canvas uh, script, we have to add another column to that network. So first I'm going to rename this network to ENCODE. So I don't have to type it, uh, type a long thing. And then I'm going to open this with Excel. I'm going to put a 1 I'm just gonna, I can put 1.0 as a number and I'm going to copy it for all of the interactions because the script takes three column networks. So this number represents a value that could be a weight of the link. But in this particular case, the links are unweighted. So we're going to save this. I'm gonna say yes because it's a text file and it's fine. Then I'm gonna close Excel, save it again, and we can actually put it in folder. And then once we got an N to C folder, we uh, select this list to matrix folder, and we can put that here. So we can add that to those files that are there. So now we are ready to execute the script on that text file, the text file of transcription factor or the ENCODE file. So we're going to start a SIGWIN terminal 
and this would make it look similar in Mac and Linux systems. And first we have to go to the folder where we just put in that file or where the scripts are that were extract extracted. So the scripts are in code slash n2c. And you can list and so this is the four folders with different scripts that we are going to use later and then we can go into the list to matrix folder and let's see what's there there is a python script list to matrix and then there is an input folder where we put the encode.txt file and so the first so the right now we can just run the python script list to matrix that python on the file that is in input and that file name is encode that txt and the script finished so now we should find the output of that script in the output directory so we can browse to the output directory we can list it and we can view encode underscore matrix dot txt This is an adjacency matrix that describes the network. So all the nodes are listed as rows and columns. And then the there is a one when there is an interaction between them. So we converted this to uh, adjacency matrix that describes a network, and this is an undirected network at this stage. So we uh, sort of like lost the information about the sources and targets in this case. So now once we have this file encode underscore matrix that text, we can use that as an input to the network to canvas script. So if we go up two levels, we need to go into the network to canvas directory. And let's see what we have there. Again, we have an input and an output um, folders. For the input folder, we need to copy. So we're going to go to the input folder folder, and then we're going to do a copy. List to matrix slash output. Encode matrix that text we want it here. So now we have the file here in the input directory. So there you see that there is already some examples there, but we care about this file. So now if you go up one level, we need to execute the network to canvas script with our input. So in order to execute the network to canvas script, type in Python network to canvas and then list our input which is encode matrix that text and we need to specify how long we're gonna run it so let's put 10 
So now the script is running and it will generate our output. So it made 32,000 successful swaps and the initial fitness was 0 0.198 and then afterwards it improved to 0 0.486 and this is the number of attempted it's what a uh, number of time it attempted what we can do we can try it again let's run it now for one minute 60 seconds and now we're gonna wait okay so we see that we got slight improvement we started at 21 we improved it to 0.53 okay so now if we use the browser we can just go directly to the folder where our output is so we're going into the network to canvas folder and this is where our output is so this output is in a JSON format and this is the encode matrix that JSON format tells network to canvas how to read the canvas and then if we go to the HTML file we have the full executed website with the uh, encode data set so this is a version of network to canvas offline and now we can interact with this particular object we can change the colors of the canvas and potentially we can highlight specific terms so for example if we want to highlight start one we can type here start one and then it finds it and then we can change the color of start one. So on this canvas the areas that are bright are areas where the transcription factors share a lot of target genes or target transcription factors with their neighbors. So there is areas of similarity. Because we only run it for one minute the clustering is not perfect but it, they're starting to form. It's recommended maybe to run it overnight or run it for several hours and then you'll see much better clusters when you have large networks. The nice thing about this visualization is that it's very compact. So you saw that we have 2000 links and, and we have 160 transcription factors and we can condense this uh, messy network that we looked at before into a visualization that immediately helps us to identify the clusters of the network and also makes it interactive and you can also uh, make nice images from this and you can also take pieces of this website and whatever you like to uh, have on your own site one thing you can also uh, typically want the image you want to manipulate the image so you can click here and then that helps you to uh, or save it as SVG and then open it with Adobe Illustrator and potentially use it for publications and presentations.